Um, and one thing I've noticed from all the demos that I'm getting is there's sometimes there's a reliance on mixing and mastering as being some sort of catch or some sort of you know way to improve the quality of the, the recordings you've done at home. I mean, in some, to some degree, it is that is the case, but I think it's important that the the actual quality of the recordings need to be you need to concentrate on that side of it more because just throwing some stuff down and hoping the mixing and mastering will fix it is not a good answer. You know, I think you need to be really meticulous about the way that you, you know, look at the, try to find the best performances. Because ultimately it's the performance that is what the listener is drawn to. Like a great vocal will pull you in, it'll, you know, it'll, you'll get drawn into the song by great performances, not by how, how loud the mastering is or how great the mix is. So it should always be about performance. You know, I'd go back and listen to records that I loved when I was younger. And it's like, these sound, sound terrible, but I'm still connected to the song. So, so obviously it's not about the quality of the mastering or the, or the mixing. So I think then just be really conscious of the performance aspect and the sort of the delivery of the material, as opposed to, oh, I'll just chuck some stuff down and we'll get it sorted afterwards, you know? So just be, I think just be conscious. And I think it, in this, it's, it's always a good policy to, you know, just try and be careful with what you record.